I'm about tired of these dating coaches talking to you about flexing on social media. Now, I'm not saying that you can't display high value over social media, but the reality for most guys when it comes to social media is we're average. We're average dudes. On my social media profile, my personal page, which I do not use anymore, I have around like 800 followers. And the majority of people are normal people. Like me and you are normal people. So it's easy for someone that has 20, 30, 50,000 followers, 10,000 even followers, and a good ratio to be like, yeah, flex on her own social media. If she has 500 followers and I got 10,000, who do you think you are, baby? You gotta, you know, show me something. You gotta show me who, dude, fuck all that. That's just ego based. That's literally not good advice for the average dude. Because also, if you're not careful, posting on social media can communicate to her that you're an insecure simp, that you're constantly needing external validation to feel good about yourself. We all know those dudes that just that are just cheesing and shit, just cheesing and shit and flexing on social media. It's really cringe. I will stand by this. I stand by this. If you are not using social media to build a business, you are wasting your fucking time. Because 99% of people that use social media are fucking licks. The only people that are winning that use social media are the people creating content. Okay? Period. And the people create advertising on social media, those are the people that fuel the entire platform. The reason it's free is because people buy from the ads. If you didn't know that, I'm just saying. It's a bunch of load of bullshit. It's a fucking rat race. If you want to create content to build a business around it, that's one thing. Spread your message, do whatever you want to do. That's one thing. But if you're using it like the majority of you guys do it, and like I've seen dating coaches time and time again say, post this pic, do this, do that. I'm off dating apps right now. I could get on in the future. I'm not going to say get off dating apps. Maybe if, if you want to, you know, like they say that the four pillars of the good life um, is what Ty Lopez kind of talks about. In his videos, like him or not, it's a decent way to kind of look at the world, health, wealth, love, and happiness. If you want to get your, um, you know, love life or relationships in order and have a dating app, go for it, bro. Take pics, meet some girls, but don't spend a whole lot of time on it. I don't use it right now. I might in the future. I'm just taking time to, for mental clarity. That's a personal thing. But what I'm saying is this. If you're just on Instagram to flex, you can invest that time into something better. Unless you're on Instagram to build a business. Okay, that's all I'm saying, bro. So just don't get on social media just to flex on people. And you know, what benefit is it to scroll through Instagram all day and Snapchat? And well, who can I DM? What can, what can I say to her? What when can I get my next hit of pussy? That's what it's a fucking drug. It's like heroin. It literally is a never ending cycle. Why are those people you think that obviously social media followers and likes don't equate to happiness because most miserable people, some of those miserable people on earth are people that have like 50 million followers, hundred million followers. They get 10 million likes or some shit on a picture and they're still miserable. So obviously happiness is not correlated with likes and followers and clout Okay, so fuck needing people to like you. Fuck needing followers. If she really cares that much about how many followers you have, because there is a certain percentage of girls that do, fuck that bitch. Literally fuck that bitch. You do not need to be a part of that rat race. And I know a lot of guys that watch this video are going to still be a part of it. All I'm going to say is this. If you are going to continue to be a part of it, keep it at a minimum. Don't spend hours on it every day. And for the love of God, do not follow your ex or do not entertain your ex on social media and don't like girls' pictures if you're going to use it. But best advice, stay off the app. If a girl really cares that much about your followers, she's a superficial whore that is not deserving of your time or of you. Period. Peace. Leave a like if you got some of this video and subscribe if you haven't already so you do not miss out on future content like this. I'm out.